Hi everyone. If you're trying to extend your Windows 10 or 11 volume or C drive, but are being prevented by the hidden Windows recovery or WinRE partition, then please follow the instructions in this video to move the recovery partition to the end of the disk. The process will involve the disk management, disk part, DISM, and the RE agent C tools, where we will need to execute some command lines on the command prompt. So to make your life easier, I have put all these command lines in this video's description for your quick reference. All right, let's just get started. First, open the disk management utility by right-clicking the start menu button and then clicking disk management. Then on the disk management, if it says that your partitions are bit locker encrypted like in my case here, you will need to disable the encryption first. To do that, right-click the start menu button and then click settings. On the settings menu, click privacy and security, then device encryption, and then turn it off. This will take a while, but we don't need to wait until the decryption is finished. You may close the settings window and go back to the disk management. Now take note the disk and partition numbers of the current recovery partition shown on the volume list. For my case here, the recovery partition is on disk 0 and partition 4. This partition is hidden as it is not assigned a drive letter. So we will need to assign a drive letter first to this partition before we can access it. To do that, we will use disk part, which is a built-in command line disk partitioning utility on Windows. So now open the command prompt as an administrator. On the command prompt, type disk part and then press enter. On the disk part prompt, type select disk followed by the recovery partition's disk number, where for my case is disk zero and then press enter. Then type select partition followed by the recovery partition's partition number where for my case is partition 4, and then press enter. Now type assign letter, and let's assign the drive letter O to this recovery partition. Once the recovery partition is successfully assigned a drive letter, type exit, and then press enter to exit the disk part. Now if you open the file explorer, the recovery partition should become visible and have a drive letter of O. All right, the next step will be to create an image file of this recovery partition. To do that, we will use the Deployment Image Servicing and Management, or DISM tool, which is a built-in tool for servicing and managing Windows images. So copy the DISM capture image command line, and then paste down the command prompt simply by right-clicking anywhere inside of the command prompt window. This DISM command line will capture an image of the recovery partition on drive O and save it as winre underscore image .wm file in C drive. Then press enter to begin capturing the image. Once done, open your file explorer and go to C drive. You should have a Windows recovery partition image file that you just created. Now go back to the disk management and we will create a new recovery partition at the end of the disk. For my case, it will be after D drive. To do that, I will have to first shrink my D drive by the size of the recovery partition, which is 642 megabytes. Now create a new partition or volume from this unallocated space. Assign the drive letter R and name the volume WinRE. This will become our new recovery partition later. All right, the next step will be to apply the recovery partition image we created earlier to this new partition using the DISM tool. To do that, copy the DISM apply image command line and paste it on the command prompt. This command line will apply the WinRE underscore image .wim file we saved in C drive and apply it to the new recovery partition on drive R. Then press enter to begin applying the recovery image. Once successfully applied, we will need to switch the recovery partition from the old one on drive O or disk zero partition four to the new one on drive R. To do that, we will need to use the RE agent C tool, which is a Windows command line tool for managing the Windows recovery environment. So let's start by typing RE agent C slash info on the command prompt and then press enter to find out the current state of the Windows RE. As you can see here, right now my Windows RE is enabled and is located on drive O, which is on disk zero partition four. To change it to drive R, first disable Windows RE by typing reagent C slash disable. Then copy the reagent C set RE image command line and paste it on the command prompt and then press enter. Finally, enable the Windows RE back by typing reagent C slash enable. Now, if we check back the Windows RE status, we should see that the Windows RE location is now on partition six, which is drive R. All right, the next step will be to hide the new recovery partition on drive R. To do that, 
run dispart again. On the disparts command prompt, type select volume R and then press enter. Then copy the dispart set ID command line. Paste it on the command prompt and then press enter. Repeat these steps for the remaining two dispart command lines. Once done, exit dispart. Now open the registry editor. Expand the H key local machine and then system. Click the mounted device key and delete the DOS devices R key on the right pane. Now close the registry editor and all other open programs and then restart a PC. All right, to verify one more time that the new Windows RE works, open the command prompt as an administrator. Type reagent C slash info and then press enter. So everything works just fine and now we can proceed to delete the old recovery partition, which for my case is located on disk zero and partition four. To do that, run disk part one more time. Then select the disk first and then the partition. Now type delete partition override to delete the old recovery partition. Once successfully deleted, exit disk part, close the command prompt, and then open the disk management utility. You should now have an unallocated space right next to your system drive, which you can easily merge into one. All right, so that's how to move the Windows recovery partition to another location. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.